Hello everybody and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent and um last episode I made it past that uh hold up I gotta fix my mic a little bit. Um I made it past that um water monster that little water section which was annoying and um now I'm exploring trying to find a key I think to a door so that I can get the elevator to work. Um, but I didn't notice that there was this creepy statue standing here last time. So there's that. Um, but yeah, everything about this game is just creepy. But I kind of knew that getting into this game. That is a lot of bones. Um, I wouldn't have been scared. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of skulls. It's mainly skulls. Interesting. I'm just looking for, well, the key and maybe some lantern oil would be nice or tinderbox. Tinderbox would also be nice. Okay. I don't want to waste it on that, though. But I just want to chug around the room. Oh, I didn't notice there was that thing here, that painting. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh yeah, the room with lots of blood and that poor doggy. Yeah, I can handle the fact that they die sometimes, but it's harder for me to handle. Ooh, what's this? Um, them being in lots of pain, dying in gr gruesome, gruesome ways. I don't look at this one. Um, Canis Lupus. That's that's wolf. Or dog, I think. Fam f familiar. Uh, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their exper experience of terror. It's not right. None of this is right. It's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Well... I'll have to find that key again. Oh yeah, and I killed myself walking out that window. Ooh, I have no lantern oil. Thought I might have some, but apparently I have none. Okay, so... What you're saying is I actually do have to go out the window. I was, I think I was supposed to go and look over here first. Um, to see that I couldn't go anywhere. And end up.
getting out the window. Oof. It's kind of steep. This is a little scary. I really don't want to die. If I can help it. Oh look. I bet there's a key in here. Maybe. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. I don't... Elevator schematics... He doesn't know what that is. Okay. What is this? Oh. I don't think it's something that I can actually use. Those poor doggies. Um. I really need a lantern. Oh, 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 oh. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna get this first. Again! Lots and lots of blood. Let's get this. Okay. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up eight and down eight. Okay. Um, make sure the flow is set accordingly to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions. Four phase altitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay. Uh, not exactly sure what that means, but I'll figure it out when it comes to it. Um, I don't think I need any of this right now. Okay. Well then. Isn't there like supposed to be a key? That uh... Ah, uh, there's nothing in there. Hmm. Well, no key. But I do have elevator instructions, so I'm getting somewhere. I really like being able to uh, move forward in the game. Well, I guess. Wonder. What the heck? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what that noise was. I don't know, the key wasn't up here, so. Did I go in this room? I think I did, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's the back hall. Yeah, I think I went in both of those rooms. Well, if I can't find it anywhere else. He tried to fit the pieces together, but like, sand, like the sand dunes, they shifted when you were looking. Yeah, so if, if I can't find the key anywhere else, I'll come back to that room and try and, uh, that area to try and find it, but, because maybe I didn't look hard enough. I don't know. Felt like I looked at everything, but I don't know. I like this room. This room has peaceful music. Okay, no, this is the guest room. I have it been here. Uh, the thin, cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Well, somebody was looking for something in here. Okay. Uh, ah, ah, lantern oil. I mean, I'm not super desperate, but it'd be a good thing to kind of stock up on it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go in this room first. Oh yeah, just someone was definitely looking for something in here. Well. Ooh, it's a crowbar. Hmm. 
Maybe that I have to use that instead of the key. Yeah, they took everything. Alrighty, here's Third of me. July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm, I don't know. Well, here is a closet that I could probably hide in if I needed to. Hopefully I don't need to. But... Okay, well I found a crowbar. So, maybe I need to use that instead of a key. Oh, it's just the stupid bugs, which don't bother me. Okay, let's just... Uh -huh. I'm gonna move on to this room. Oh. Uh, well, I already found the crowbar. But I'll read this anyways. Make sure the lock's broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. I'm pretty sure I have to use this. <laughs> and let me guess, the crowbar is unusable now. Please, let it be here. Okay, I got another note. Let me read that. An important key is hidden in the guest room. The key that I was looking for? Probably. Okay, let's see. What's this? 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I agree. Okay, um... Wow. Ah, 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 ah. This, oh, I did it. 
see me, right? Please tell me he didn't see me. Ooh, I see a lever in here. Or is that a lever? Maybe that's just a hanger. gone. I, th I could have sworn that was a lever. Oh, that was terrifying. Is he really gone? This key is. Oh. oh! Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Hopefully, that monster is still gone. I'm getting out of here. Okay. You better be gone. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by the damned curiosity. By his damned curiosity. Of course. Okay. Okay, where's the nice peaceful music? Can I have the nice peaceful music back? No. to the machine room now. Oh wait. Yes. Yes, it was in here. Okay. panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Dang it. I have food on me. I always find some kind of food on me after work. Okay, uh, now what? Now I'm in the machine room. And it's dark. Um. And I'm not exactly sure what it is I need to do. I need to get the uh, elevator running, obviously, but, um, and I have that paper. I'm gonna close the door behind me. Because you never know. Um, I'm gonna read this. 5th of July, 1839. 
Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, I wonder why. Um, well, I think I am... I'm almost out of time anyways, so I think I'm going to end this episode here since we just got to the machine room. Um, and we are moving along in the game, so... Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and go and check out some other videos that I've done in the past. I've done uh, lots of other games. Well, not a lot, but I've done other games that you can go and check out, like Auction Not Included, uh, Drop Alive, which is a um, side-scroller game, uh, The Sims, uh, Gone Home, Jurassic Park. Um, you can go and check those out uh, in the description below and at the end of this video in my end screen. So, um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on another video. Bye-bye.